If you've ever been interested in science, or taken a biology class, or even simply tuned into the news, I bet you've heard of stem cells. And maybe you got the sense that they're a breakthrough tool for medical research, but what are they exactly? And how do they actually work? Stem cells have two unique characteristics that make them so important. One, they're the only cell in your body that can transform into other types of cells in our organs and tissues. And two, they have the ability to replicate or make copies of themselves really, really well. Most of our adult stem cells are already specialized, so a blood stem cell can produce all the different types of cells that make up blood, but it can't make brain cells or heart cells. We rely on these stem cells every day to replace some of the cells that we lose, like our skin, our hair, and the lining of our gut. But this becomes an issue when parts of our body break down and can't repair themselves. So for example, with neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's or ALS, brain cells die and the body can't replace them. See, when we're just beginning as little embryos, all of our cells that eventually make up our body start out as stem cells. And at this stage, they can become any other kind of cell in the body. A brain cell, a heart cell, a cell in your eyeball, you name it. In the last decade, researchers have found a way to mimic these embryonic stem cells in the lab. But how? Shinya Yamanaka is a pretty important scientist who was awarded a Nobel Prize in 2012 for creating the technique that allows us to make stem cells in the lab. He successfully took human skin cells and turned them back into stem cells, essentially reprogramming their DNA so they forgot they were skin cells and went back to thinking they could be anything, just like we all did when we were little. Just kidding, that's still true. Believe in your dreams. Anyway. These kinds of cells are called induced pluripotent stem cells, or iPSCs for short, because we've induced them out of their regular behavior and into a stem cell state. iPSCs are one of the hottest topics in stem cell research today because they have the potential to improve medicine in so many different ways. So there you have it. If you want to keep learning about how stem cells are being used these days for research, check out our next video over here. If you have any questions about stem cells, leave a comment down below or visit the links in the description box for more information. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Click that subscribe button down at the bottom and we'll see you next time for another dose of science.